Hi, welcome back to the channel, Fraser MM0 EFI. What have I got for you today then? Well, three things maybe. First, I've got the old uh, 100 gram Yagi. I'm going to be uh, doing a bit of sort of chasing with that. Summits to summits. Second, I have got a QMX radio, which I think could be the ultimate QRP backpack and radio. And third, I'm going to show you this little case I picked up. Might be of interest to my American viewers. I got it in a, in a store in the States. It's a waterproof case. Can be used for a, a radio or any equipment and it only costs $10. And the hill, well this is Craigley. It's my test hill. It's only a 20 minute drive and a 20 minute walk. This path isn't the most overgrown I've seen, but it's enough. I've already picked up two ticks. I was wearing shorts yesterday night. I woke up this morning in bed with a tick attached to my thigh. So it's uh, definitely tick season. Oh, and that's the main reason I wore light coloured trousers today. So I can see the little lighters. Okay, there's the summit. But listen, I don't know if you can hear this on camera. But there are millions, millions of bumblebees and honeybees up here feeding on the, the heather. Unreal, I thought it was flies <laughs> sw swimming around my head because it's a bit warm and muggy today and I'm, I'm sweating a bit. But no, it's bees. I need a complete from Alex who's over on Ben Egan. We'll get this out of the way first. So this is Mike, Mike Zero Echo Foxtrot India Portable QRZ. Summit summit, yes. Alpha, Lima, portable. Summit to summit, uh, Golf Mike 5 Alpha Lima X-ray Portable. Good morning, Alex. You are a five and five. I'm using the beam and the TID radio today, over. Very quick look at my setup today. I knew there was a post up here, so I've just brought one Velcro strap and strung the mast up. Now, that means that I'm going to have to sit over there in a the header, but it was quicker than setting the mast out over there, guy in it, and me being able to stay here. Well, I seem to have taken over the whole summit area, but uh, that's me done with two metres. I watched Peter there on his summit. Um, I've been up here already this year, so I don't get the point, but it's just a perfect little hill for for testing stuff out. Right, what have we got here then? I really should mention the bag, the box, shouldn't I? It's a, a Bass Pro Shops Survivor Dry Box. And um, it was in their sort of uh, fishing and sort of boating section of the shop. And um, I'm, I swear it was $10 or less. And it's not the lightest thing ever, but I, I kind of thought, you know, if you was on a backpacking expedition for two or three days, it'd be ideal for keeping stuff in, especially radio gear. So I've added the foam. Um, it comes with a rubber seal and these three clamps. And what have we got in here for you today is my QMX. Now this is um, a radio that's been around for a couple of years. It's made by QRP Labs. You can buy it as a kit already made. I ordered this and waited about a year for it to come ready made. And um, you can order them for various segments of the RF spectrum. So this is the high band one. It does 20, 17, 15, 12 meters and 10 meters. But I've got an NFED half wave here today, so I would only use it on 20, 15 and 10 because I don't want to blow it up. You need a resonant antenna. It uses a 12 volt battery. Now when I say 12 volts, I mean 12 volts, not a 13.8 volt shack power supply because that will probably cook it according to Hans and the instructions. And um, this was a CW and digital radio until very recently, but the, the, there is a firmware update which uh, gives it sideband. And that's what I did. I, I downloaded that and I'm going to try it on sideband today. Um, this is just my guy ropes, which I didn't need. This is a sort of a K7ARK type little QRP microphone, which you normally get for like a KX2 or something like that. But I have um, 
rewired it slightly. Instructions are in the uh, the manual for the QRP Labs radios, and um, it now works perfectly with this. I would normally use this with headphones because the um, audio output here is not powerful enough to drive a speaker. However, what I've done today for demonstration purposes, I have brought a audio lead and um, a little Bluetooth speaker here. This is an Anchor Bluetooth speaker, which will obviously work if I just uh, plug that into it. So, uh, yeah, well, the, the bands <laughs> the bands have been up and down, haven't they? I, uh, you know, I should have really used this radio before now, but uh, I kept putting it off because I've been doing a lot of two meters with RF blackouts and all this kind of stuff. So anyway, there it is, look, it's hooked up to my 49 to 1 um, that I homemade a long time ago. And uh, it's just a case of plugging the battery in now. Now, incidentally, this is one of the batteries I use on my KX2. So it's ideal that the radio allows you to use this sort of standard standard sized batteries with it. The thing to remember is you put the microphone in the paddle socket which doubles as a microphone input. So I've got to send a, a SOTA spot off and I'm on 14.285 the QRP frequency and we'll give this thing a go. This is Mike Mike Zero Echo Foxtrot India Portable CQ Summits on the air from Golf Mike Echo Sierra 068 QRZ Fox Trot 4, Whiskey Bravo November. Good morning, Christian. Thank you for the call. 5959 QSL. Hi, Georgia. Thanks for the 59. Uh, good morning. You're 5 by 7, picking 5 7, over. QSL 5757 five, seven with 4 watts, 4 whiskey. Over, over. Ah, <laughs> Thank you, Father 73. Thank you very much, 73 Chris. This is Mike, Mike Zero, Echo Foxtrot India Portable, QRZ. Echo Alpha 1, Delta Hotel Bravo. Echo Alpha 1, Delta Hotel Bravo, good morning, 59 QSL. Echo Alpha 1, Delta Hotel Bravo, Fraser, uh, good morning, 5454 Roger. Roger, Roger, 5454. Five, thank you, thank you, 73. Bye bye, Fraser, for Echo Alpha 1, Delta Hotel Bravo, ciao. Ciao, 73, Mike Mike Zero, Echo Fox, India Portable, QRZ. I've had to turn the Bluetooth off, off on the phone because I think it um, interrupted the transmission there when it tried to connect. Right, that was enough for a quick test. Two QSOs, and to get back home, I'm going to show you how to do a uh, firmware update on this thing, where you can get one, and um, there's definitely going to be some more testing with this. I'll also tell you about how to get the microphone sorted out for it as well. But, worked into Spain, worked into France, yeah I know Chris was doing the heavy lifting on that one, but uh, I still got good reports, brilliant. And I'm going to uh, run it through a, a web SDR and see what my audio sounds like as well. So plenty to do, plenty of uh, fun to be had with this radio. So if you want to see some more, keep watching, and then I'll do some more in a future video. I just want to quantify the uh, 20 meter performance there with the QMX. So uh, two of my friends, GM5 ALX and uh, GM5 AIB, who I worked on two meters, were both on summits not all that far from here. Uh, one with the KX2, one with the KX3, and uh, they only had two or three or four contacts on 20 metres and about the same on 40, so a bit of a flat day, but uh, as I said, much more testing of this radio to come. I think it's going to be great. It's super simple to update these radios. So this is a QDX, which is the uh, QRP digital transceiver, and this one's a low band one, and this is my QMX that was using on the hill, which is the high band one. So when you plug these radios into your computer, it basically just sees them as a, a flash drive. So all you have to do is you go to the uh, QRP Labs website 
you find the firmware, the latest version, um, you download it, and when you open it up, um, you then just copy it across to the folder that this little radio is set up, or this one, and um, and then that's it. There's full instructions in the manual, and um, it's absolutely super simple to do. I know quite often when people have got radios that are reluctant to update them in case it goes wrong or it makes things worse, but with these, there's no reason at all not to have the latest firmware on them. So. We'll leave that there. Looking forward to playing with this radio again. Uh, if you've got any questions, any comments, leave them down below and I'll be happy to answer. See you next time. 7-3.